If you want to encrypt individual files or folders on Windows, you're going to need Windows 10 Pro. The Home Edition simply doesn't let you do it. This might be different when Windows 11 comes along, but for now you will need Windows 10 Pro. So instead I recommend using an application called Veracrypt. Veracrypt ticks all the boxes. It's free to use, it's open source, so it's constantly being patched and tested by the geeks at GitHub, and it's cross-platform, so it works on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Basically anything except a mobile or tablet. The installation and setup process is quite cumbersome, but stick with me because it's very easy to use and versatile once you're up and running. Start by browsing to veracrypt.fr, download the latest installer from Windows, and once downloaded, kick off the installation process. The first important prompt you'll receive is whether to install the application or just extract it. If you extract it, you can use Veracrypt in portable mode, meaning it can be run from a USB stick or external drive without the need to actually be physically installed on the computer. This is handy if you want to use Veracrypt on several different machines or a machine that you don't own. However, for this demonstration, we'll keep things simple and I'll choose the normal installation process. Click Next, followed by Install. Once complete, you have the option of viewing the tutorial, but I'll close the installer and go straight into the app. To make an encrypted folder in which to store our secret files, we start by clicking on Create Volume. Veracrypt can be used to encrypt the whole partition or drive, but for this example, we're going to create an encrypted file container, so I'll start by clicking Next. We're then asked whether to create a standard or hidden volume. Now, rather than me wasting your time doing a bad job of explaining what hidden volumes are, if it's something you're interested in, you can click on the link to find out more information. But for now, we'll just create a standard volume. We're then asked to select a location for our volume and give it a name. I'm going to store my volume in the cloud, so I'll open up OneDrive, create a folder called Veracrypt, and shrewdly, I'll name my encrypted folder, Encrypted Folder, but I recommend you name yours something far less obvious. Having created our folder, we now need to choose the level of encryption, and the default settings here are going to be just fine, so we'll move straight along. We then need to set the size of our encrypted folder, and you should base this on the size of the files you'll be storing within it. Just bear in mind that once created, you can't go back and extend the size of the folder, so give yourself plenty of flexibility. I'll set mine to 100 meg, and then we'll click Next. We're into the final stretch, and we need to set a password. Obviously, you should make this long, strong, and memorable. If Veracrypt doesn't think it's long enough, you'll receive a warning, which you can ignore if you wish. Finally, you want to choose the file system for your encrypted volume, and I recommend setting this to something that is accessible across all platforms. So I usually go for XFAT. To increase the randomness of the cryptographic algorithm, move your mouse cursor rapidly around the window until the bar turns green, and then you can finish up the process by clicking Format. And there we have it, we have created our encrypted folder. If I navigate to OneDrive, there you can see my 100 megabyte volume that simply looks like an unrecognizable system file. To start adding files to the encrypted folder, open up Veracrypt, choose Select File and browse to the location. The folder needs to be mounted to a spare drive letter, so choose one from the list, click on Mount and enter your password. Once mounted, you can start adding your files. I'll add this photo and once you're done, remember to dismount and close the Veracrypt application. Notice that there's no indication of any files being stored in your encrypted folder. To anyone else, it continues to look like a random, unrecognizable system file. To demonstrate the flexibility of Veracrypt, I'll switch over to my Mac, where I've already installed OneDrive from the App Store. If I open up OneDrive in Finder, go to my Veracrypt folder, there you can see my encrypted volume. 
and I can open the folder on my Mac in the same way as I did on Windows. Open up the Veracrypt application, navigate to the encrypted folder, click on Mount and provide your password. And there we have it. There is my encrypted folder and contained within the folder is the photo that I saved on my Windows machine. So that is how to encrypt files and folders on Windows using Veracrypt. If you found this video useful, I'd appreciate you give me a like and hit subscribe for lots more quick tips like this one. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.